What's up everyone, welcome back. Today we're playing Trelisara Moon Dancer in Historic Brawl. Uh, two mana, Slenzia, 2-2, two -two, Elf Cleric. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on Trelisara and scry one. Pretty straightforward, but powerful if you build around it. So we have a lot of cards that gain life. Um, I won't go through them all, but all of these basically in some way or another gain us life. So the idea is to gain lots of incremental life and make Trail of Sara huge. You know, hopefully we can make, you know, her into a 10-10, a 20-20, something like that. And then maybe equip Shadow Spear and give her lifelink uh, and trample, right? Maybe we gain enough life that we can... Aetherflux Reservoir, our opponent, and do 50 damage right to their dome. Um, so there's basically a bunch of support cards to gain life, make Trailsara huge. Um, there's also evasive creatures, like, they're not big, but they're evasive. They're like, usually flyers with lifelink. So we're still able, we're not like, it's not Voltron is what I'm trying to say. It's not like this is our only creature in the deck and the whole deck is just trying to protect and support Trailsara. It's not entirely like that. There's a lot of... Actually, most of the deck is creatures. Um, so we're trying to build a wide board that then we can pump. And Trelisara is sort of our leader of that board. Um, and we have uh, cards like Tribute to the World Tree to help us draw more cards. And Garruk's Uprising, which I can't see somewhere in here. <laughs> it's probably down here. Nope. Where is it? It's got it. There it is. It's because of the alternate art. Um... The same idea as the tribute, is a tribute to the World Tree, but this one gives uh, all of our creatures Trample. So if we make a giant 10-10, you know, and it has Trample, and then it has Lifelink, you can see how it starts to spiral out of control. And then our mana curve, as you can tell, is really low. Most of the cards are 3 mana or less. We only have a couple of higher mana cost cards, um, and they're just kind of like endgame payoffs if we can't sort of aggro them out. Um, return... Of the Wild Speaker, you know, if this is a 10-10, we draw 10 cards. Um, the Great Henge gains us life and draws us cards and puts plus one, plus one counters on our creatures whenever they enter the battlefield. Um, and then Vorinclex is pretty funny because we put, we double the amount of counters on Trailisara or our other creatures and our opponents cannot put any plus one, plus one counters um, on their creatures. Uh, it halves other counters, but... That's the deck. I won't ramble on too much more. Um, it's essentially it. And we just have the last little thing. We just have little creatures like Haywire Might and some other stuff to, as removal spells. So let's see if we can make Slenzia life gain plus one plus one counters work. Um, I think the ability to gain, or not to gain life, but to... When we gain life, we also, you know, we make Trailisari big, we also scry one. I think that's a really under um, valued part of that card. I think being able to scry basically anytime we gain life is huge. We can, like, scry away all the cards that are irrelevant, put all the cards that we need at the top of our deck. This will be a challenge, though, <laughs> with Emoji. At least we'll have a big creature to block some of their stuff. Um, and we can make one ones with this. So we can Swords to Plowshares and Modi too. Um, it will take them a minute to get to a Modi. So probably, like, earliest would be turn three. And that's, like, if they have a perfect hand. So, unlikely. I think we like this hand. This allows us to set up a little bit. So let's keep it. We get to go first as well. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Modi, where have you been? It's like the most popular commander in Historic Brawl, but essentially, Simic Cascade. All their spells get Cascade, essentially. Uh, let's get Blossoming Sands out of the way since it's tapped. Let's reorganize our hand a little bit. Okay. Uh, they're Simic, so they don't really have a lot of ways to remove stuff. They have ways to bounce things. But not remove things, usually. Or creatures, I should say. Green has a way of removing artifacts and enchantments, but... 
they don't have creature removal, and blue definitely doesn't have creature removal. Okay, that's a land. Do we... Um... Yeah, I guess we don't have a choice. So... Let's do this. We don't have any targets, so we'll just gain life. Maybe we'll do a 3-3. Yeah, that's a land, so we'll keep on top. Again, the scry ability, I think, is underrated. They have four mana. Let's see what they do. More ramp, although kind of wasted because they didn't have their didn't have a creature with power four or greater. But they get two lands, two islands. Okay. Now we could hold this up and have our commander fight their commander. That's probably the way we should do it, right? But then our commander dies. We could just swords it. We could just, yeah, let's just do this and swords it. <laughs> That's a good card. Now we gain life whenever a creature we control enters the battlefield. They're going to return a land to their hand. Okay. And then what? Play it. And then cast their commander. No. They're not going to pay the life. They're going to ramp. Um... Is this worth killing? So they'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, let's pass. Sure. <clears throat> That's a great card too. We could do both of these. But then we wouldn't have enough mana to hold this up. So I think what we do is we play this. Right? Yeah. Then when they play a Modi, we gain a life. And we'll be able to fight their commanders without ours dying. Well, I guess we gain life here anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that. The more we get rid of Emoti, the better we are. They still get a Cascade Trigger off Emoti, which is annoying, but it'll probably be something we don't care about. Yeah, like Gilded Goose. So we gain life here. Yep, we want to keep that card. Resolve. We get Emoti.
gain a life. Let's try one. Okay. They're starting to get low on life, too. Is this instant speed? No, it's a sorcery. We can go get a planes. That's good, because I think they could destroy artifact or enchantment, so we didn't want that. Um, yeah, let's go get the planes and play the, the creature, so we have an evasive threat. I don't think we need this. I just don't think Simic is going to have a way to deal with my commander. They're usually the deck that's trying to do what we're doing right now, which is being the aggressor. So they, they have 7 mana so they could replay their commander, but that's all they have. They could also play this enchantment, but then they're tapped out. And they are staring down the barrel of an 8-8. They could have something like River's Rebuke, which would be a little brutal, but at least we have some lands to rebuild. Help it. <laughs> yeah, we'll put them in my hand. However, that is their whole turn. <laughs> Cert Dominance. I didn't even realize we were at 36 life. That's pretty funny. Um, okay, so we'll play you first, and then we will play, we could go wide, so every time they play a creature we make a 1-1. One, one. Well, they're going to get a trigger off of Modi, so why don't we put the Hushbringer down just in case. And we'll pass. It I guess that turns off I guess that turns off our Soul Warden, which is a bummer. But I'm worried about them having an enter the battlefield creature. Enchantments. No. That is a bummer. I didn't realize it would turn off our Soul Warden. I should have thought... And this. I should have thought about that. Okay. Well, it doesn't turn off... Well, okay. First first things first, right? Wait, what? As an additional cost to cast a spell, tap an untapped creature you control. Tap an untapped... Oh, Exile Target, Tapped Creature. Gotcha. Okay. Put you down. And we'll put you down as an evasive threat. And we will... Well, I guess they have a flyer, huh? But it does have lifelink, so... Even if they block, we get the lifelink trigger. They don't block for some reason. Which target? Artifact or enchantment? 
Um, I don't think we need that. So, let's it away. Okay, they don't get the trigger. This is a problem, but hopefully we can do some damage this turn. Swiftfoot Boots is a decent card. Destroy target enchantment. Oh, perfect. Oh, but it, when it enters the battlefield. Okay, wait. So we could we could exile our own Hushbringer if we want to get rid of this thing, right? Okay, so next. Attack with these two. It, it sucks that we have to do this, but they're going to have triple mana. Um... Hmm. It's a good card. Power three or less. Eh. I don't really see them attacking anytime soon. That's a great card, so we'll keep that. That's an even better version of the fog that we just scryed away. Okay, so now we can swallow whole. Target. Target a tapped creature, yeah. Yes, I do. We'll tap you. Destroy your enchantment. Yeah, we want to keep that. Uh-huh. And now we can... Boots and equip it. So, they can still go off here, but we have a ever-growing 7-7 seven, seven and Omniscience, that's a good card, with Cascade. <laughs> Seems good. Now they can deploy their whole hand, which will have Cascade. That was probably the worst case scenario for us. <laughs> okay, Migration Path, not too bad, but everything else in their hand they can cast for free. Let's see how bad this gets. <laughs> uh, that's pretty bad, but we can sack everything but our... Oh my god. Yeah, we're just gonna get so dunked on. Alright, GG opponent. You had, the, you had the thing. I know we had Teferi's Protection on top, but I mean, they were gonna... They were gonna cast every spell in their hand, so that would have been six or seven spells. All those spells would have had Cascade, and they could have hit multiple cascade triggers if you've never played with or against a modi like if you cast like like portal for to phyrexia for example if you then hit a eight mana spell then you can cascade again until you go down the chain until you hit a six mana spell so they could bare minimum they were going to cast like 12 things uh but probably end up getting somewhere between 12 and you know 17 things, so um, not good for us. We go first, get Trog Monster. Um, sure. This will, as long as we don't play too many spells, this will be good. Um, so I guess this will be green. Get you. So this is the beginning of our upkeep, so we'll gain one life. And then we just have to make sure to not take too many spells out of our hand and we'll get this trigger every turn. Get Trog Monster, basically Golgari lands matters. Good card. Scry 1, that is also a good card. We don't have triple green, but I think we gotta keep it. It's, it's too good of a card. 
Oh, that's cool, bro. Oh. You can block. I don't think you will. We won't play this because we want the life gain trigger. If we play this, then we only have four cards in our hand. And we don't get the trigger. Oh, they don't have a land. Oh, they whiffed. They whiffed. They whiffed. <laughs> uh, sure. Sure. Wow, they kept a two lander? Or a, well, yeah, a two lander? Risky, risky. Man, I thought we were gonna get, get that emoji player. I'm still a little tilted about that. This will be a, a rough game. Uh, hopefully we can, we can beat them down before they get to Sauron. But we'll see. Uh, we have all tapped lands. All MDFCs. And they get to go first. So that is an easy free mulligan. This is better. Hushbringer. Creatures entering the battlefield are dying. Don't activate. Doesn't really affect Sauron. This is a good card. Uh, I think we keep. This will be an this will be a uphill battle though for sure, depending on the way they built it. If they built it with like. If they built it the way I built it, it's definitely going to be an uphill battle. If they built it with, like, the, they're really trying to get the trigger from the ring tempting them, I don't, I don't know. That, that might not be as difficult. Um, we don't have a turn one play, so let's just play this uh, tap and not take the two damage. You over here, you over there. Um, do it like this. Uh, they're probably going to have removal. Well, let's make them use it on this. Lightning bolt. Well, I didn't play my commander because they were holding up mana, so I figured they uh, had removal. Okay. Do it like this. They might have a counter spell. Let's get it out of their hand. Ooh, okay. So now, whenever we play a creature power four greater than hard, but more importantly, our creatures have trample. Okay. All right, bank buster. I go do this. Scavenging news is pretty good. we pass they're not doing anything okay Ushbringer <laughs> the art on this card is like so creepy <laughs> like, I don't know it's like intense okay they draw a card with bank buster Okay, they're getting close to Sauron. 
wonder if they're just gonna pass with five mana open. Maybe draw with Bankbuster again. Holding's command. Discard a card. Um, we're we're too far away from that. Even though it's a land. I wonder why they got rid of Hushbringer. I wonder I wonder what they have in their hand that is an ETB. Okay, let's do it like this. They could kill this in response now that we're tapped out. That's a good tap land to draw in this situation. Draw here with Bank Buster. Well, they have a ton of cards. I think they just slam Sauron here. I don't know why they wouldn't. Maybe they're worried about ooze. Fight. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. You got it. set up and then cycle this land. Maybe they're... I don't know. If I, if I were them, I would just slam Sauron. It's, it's basically untouchable with its ward ability. But they are very afraid of my little sheep. Okay. Sort of strange. I would have kept that for when my commander comes back down, but maybe they just have that much removal in their hand. Yeah, I was going to say, you should play your commander. Boots. That would have been nice before. Okay. Well, I think we just do it like this. They're going to start making giant orc. Opponent's not sure if we're going to make it. They're thinking real hard about it. I'll give you another one. Would you like to think about that one too? Just put the boots on here for now. They have a lot of removal, so... Might as well protect the one creature we have on the board. No blocks. Would you like to draw a fresh four? No, they like their hand. Okay. Maybe that was why they got rid of my hush player? Kind of strange if you ask me. Um, let's do it like this. Yep. Okay, let's do 
this. They are low on cards, so we can hope that they don't have anything, but unlikely. Attack all, huh? Well, that's an easy block. That's an easy block. Wait, hold on. Yeah, let's get rid of... I wonder if that kills our, our command. We'll, we'll find out. I'm hoping we gain life at the same time damage is dealt, so it doesn't have put on, but it might kill it before. Yeah, it does. Okay, well. We had to do it. Yeah, see, the triggers come after. We don't want a plane. It's not really relevant. I can't really think of a card that the best gets us out win. of this situation. So, probably just going to scoop it up depending on what we draw. I know some yeah. sickening GG. Magic. Unfortunately, that's how you win historic brawl games. You remove everything the, compu the, the uh, opponent does, right? And then you get to play your big thing and all your deck synergies, right? The even though it's not as I don't know, it's not as a it's not as uh what am I trying to say? It doesn't follow the same play pattern as Commander does. Even though this is kind of like a pseudo Commander format, it it really doesn't play like Commander. It plays much more like you know, 1v1 60 card formats where you have to have like answers for all your opponent's stuff. And then once they're out of resources, you can play your cool things. That's in general how you win games in Historic Brawl. But I try, I try to play different styles of decks <laughs> for the people. at least get one game one win with this deck I, th I still feel like we were going to win that emoti game if they didn't drop omniscience i'm i'm still really salty about that um sure i mean it's a good hand we just don't have green yorian usually takes a minute to um set up so we'll see We technically have a way to draw more cards too, but I mean it, it draws them cards, so not ideal. We don't get to go first because of course. Another white land. You don't say. Well, we don't have a turn one play, so might as well get it out of the way. We could have kept it just in case, but eh. I'd like to hit land drops every turn. So this is a green source. So we should probably play that next turn. Get down the lifelink creature.
Okay. Spirited Companion. Something they can balance with Yorian. Ooh, what is this art? Creepy. Okay. That's a good draw. my cards. Invasion of Gobicon. Okay. You gotta take Heliod. That's fine. Makes my decision next turn a lot easier. Okay, so we play you do we want this um kicker we don't have enough to kick it so what are we doing we're just putting two plus one plus one counters on a creature we gain x life hmm I think we'll keep it. It gives us some versatility. Um, since we have an opening, let's get this down. It's too bad we don't have a way to gain, like, one more life, but... That's what it is. Yeah, let's do it. Because if we got a third life, we could get a 2-2 a, a two -two flyer. is probably Doomscar, but we'll we'll see. Let's put the counters on Heliod. Flying Vigilance Lifelink. Um, if they're gonna Doom Scar, we... we might as well just all attack. Um, God, I... I hope they don't board wipe, but I feel like they're going to board wipe. So let's, just in case they don't board wipe. Let's put one here, because then we can start gaining a lot of life. Ossification, okay. Get of Heliod, that's fine, we can always blow that up. That was a weird turn. They didn't have a land drop either. Um, well, we could do this. Hold on. Let's attack all. No stick, so they have no interaction. We gain two life. Oh, we definitely can that. And play you, gain a life, get a, get a, um, what is it called, Griffin? Yeah. And we'll hold this up if they try to play Yorian as a blocker. Maybe they're hoping this flips. How many cards do they have in their graveyard? One. Uh, 
Okay, they got their land. Yep, there's Doomscar. The beginning of your end step. Okay. Don't have to really stop it. Um, take action. Pass. My turn. It's too bad, too, because we were about to drop that guy. Do this. Should've... Should I have done that in reverse order? I don't know. We still have a mana up for um, Yorian if they drop Yorian. <coughs> You have five mana. Vanishing light. Okay. Which one do you choose? Probably scavenging is right. So we gain a life. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's just get this down. I think it's more important than them dropping Yorian. Or like, you know what I mean, us exiling Yorian. Because they, they can drop Yorian and reshuffle these and choose different targets, but... We get some of our stuff back, so see that's a better target. Um, the problem is they can discard a card to give it hexproof. So okay, so how do we do this? Oh, we didn't have double green for this anyway, so I guess I guess it didn't matter. Um. Death Touch and Life Link. Okay. They're tapped out. They could block here if they want. They're not going to block, because they have a lifeline feature, too. Um, no. We really need a green source. We can put this down. We can get rid of you. Non-creature artifact, non-creature enchantment. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we have a blocker for Dream Trawler as well. Let's make them tap it so they can't attack with it. And discard a card. Or they can just let it die. I'd be fine with that too. But now they have to play Yorian as a blocker. Or or cast a board wipe. Let's 
heal from existence. Okay. Um, do we care? Yeah, we'll take action. That's fine. Gain a life. Sure. One turn too late, huh? We don't have enough mana for this. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Lifelink, too. Right? Okay. So we create a blocker. We have a way to protect our Griffin. see what they do yep they can gain life with dream trawler they're gonna attack they're gonna attack their invasion so they'll gain five life here but I have all flyers they gonna play Yorian that's the thing I think this is too good to let them have I have never seen this card. Choose number between 0 and 13. Each player sacrifices that many creatures? Each player, though. So they're going to get rid of their Dream Trawler. Okay. That's fine. If you want to sack your Dream Trawler, that's fine. That's for Sentinel. Okay. Oh, we need another green source. I literally cannot play a spell because I haven't had a second green source. Oh, what a punt. We're so close. We had them down to three life. At least they lost their life gain. They're not even attacking their invasion, which is kind of funny. The good news is that we're at 48 life, so we have a ways before they threaten us. But man, if we had drawn a second green source, and we had this down, and we could put this down, I mean, we'd be in such a good spot. Doesn't really do anything. Okay. I wonder why they have so much enchantment re uh, removal. Kind of a weird, weird strategy. 
Um. I really just, I don't want them to have it. We could give it protection, but I feel like we need to keep that for our commander. They could drop Yori in here. They choose not to, okay. God. <laughs> well, we do draw a card if we if we drop this. So enchant permanent. Okay, well we can give Heliod life link, I guess. If we ever get to the point where we can turn him into a creature, it might be relevant. They have a counter spell. Oh my goodness, another green source. Do we pay two life? No, because there's no point. Okay. Okay. We're not completely out of the game. Yeah. That's good for us. Hopefully they don't have a counter spell. Oh, they're not attacking their invasion. Why, why aren't you attacking your invasion? Uh, opponent? Was the two life off of my 49 life total really that important? Aw, oh, damn, now they have six power. I was hoping to cast, uh, return that to my hand. Okay. Sure. Oh, now all the green lands come. Okay. Okay. They don't have any options. Okay. They should they should triple block this, but they're not going to. So, we have the protection spell up. Unless they somehow gain life here. Okay. They're going to transform their invasion. There's nothing I can do about it. It's a little slow, though, at this point. Is it end step? Yeah. Okay, so they're going to... They're going to do that. They're going to target... Vornplex. So all their creatures come back untapped, which is a bummer. So they can return my Vornplex to my hand if they want. I think they're going to spread it around, though. Okay, so have they already chosen targets for everything? Yes. So we can do this. We might have a counter spell. God, we're, we're so close. Five, five. First striking, five, five. Yep, I think that's a good card. Hopefully they don't have ways to bounce Yorian endlessly, because that would be a bummer. But that's usually how this deck works. They're not transforming their Ezkanta. They're going to blow this up, okay. Not the end of the world. Anything they attack with dies. And since they didn't attack, nothing happens. 
Let's get... Hmm. What does the devotion have to be? Five. One, two, three. Yeah, not enough. Oh, I should have I should have done that after I had Heliod down. Oh well. Okay. Devious cover up. I have them at six. So like I sh I should be attacking, right? But then it then they'll attack they'll block with Oh yeah, it doesn't fly either, so they can block with any of these creatures. So, no. They should be attacking with their flyers to get this trigger. They're going to turn it into a land. They're probably going to gain life. No, they're going to bounce their creature and then bounce my creature. Oh my goodness. Yeah, bounce that, attack all. No, no attacks? WTF, I'm so confused. Okay, um, well. Just play you again, I guess. Do they have a counter spell? A balance spell? They only have two cards in hand, so flat of fifty. Pretty good. Feels like they're turning the corner. Um They still have a lot of life that they have to get us uh, to take away from us, so now they're empty hands. So there's still a chance that we can come back, but it's not looking good. Not a card that we want right here, deck. They should just attack all. Yeah. No blocks. Gotta draw something good. Don't really know what we have in our deck that would, uh. Uh, sure. I'm only doing this to. Um take lands out of our deck so we don't draw a land. I mean, that's way too late. Uh, I'll just give them a good game. Yeah, we were real close. We were real close. Not quite. Sort of the theme of this deck, right? All right, let's do a uh, deck review. So I really do try to, you know, look up cards that I think are interesting that maybe can be built around. And I, I do think this is one that can be built around, but obviously 
there's something missing from this deck. I'm not quite sure what it is. Maybe it just doesn't have enough of the good green and white cards. Um, we never drew Aetherflux Reservoir, but there was a couple of times where we did have either close to or almost 50, you know past 50 life. So that would have been nice to draw at some point. But you can see that the, the, the bones of the deck are there. Um, I'm not... I'm not totally sure which cards would make this better. Maybe you need more protection spells for your commander. Um, there are some good ones out there. Maybe, you know, we need more top end because we have a lot of, like, a lot of our curve is kind of in the three mana or less area. So maybe there's just a little bit too much of this stuff. But it just seemed like we couldn't finish games. Like, we, we would get so close... We get them down like under 10 life, and then they would turn the corner. So, I'm not I'm not quite sure. I mean, I have no board wipes in here, but uh, maybe maybe even just having like um, settle the wreckage because it's a one way board wipe would be great, or um, expel the intruders. I think is what it's called, where you can choose a power between. You can I think it's from zero and up, and so you could like kill all the opponent's stuff, but maybe potentially not your stuff. I don't know. Um, which is just too bad, because I felt like this deck was actually synergizing pretty well, but we just couldn't get any wins. Um, at least tonight. You know, sometimes you sometimes you even play good decks and you can't get wins in an evening, so... Um, you know, this isn't a big enough sample size to say whether this deck is really good or not, because I felt like we were really close a bunch of times. So... <laughs> Who's to say if we played this this deck seven more times and we had a sample size of ten, if like maybe we didn't get like a fifty percent win rate, right? But I recommend if you like this deck, you like this strategy, um, try it out. See what cards you can slide in now that make maybe make it better. If it works for you, leave a comment. Let let me know what you changed and how it worked for you. Um, I always appreciate you watching. If you like the video, please subscribe, like it, leave a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.